Hi friends, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel for this week's vlog. We did something a little bit crazy. Yesterday, we bought a car on a whim and it is a new car and I swore I would never buy a new car, but it got me. It got me. I'll explain a little bit more about why we made the decision and like the financials behind it, but um, I do have some footage of us test driving the car and then me driving the car for the first time. And I'm really excited to share that with you. So it's gonna be a really good vlog. I'll do a quick little outfit of the day. I did something a little bit reckless. I, <laughs> look, this was a pocket. This is the chore jacket from Everlane and I love it. But every time I wear it, I wish it was cropped with dresses and with jeans. So this morning I cropped it myself with scissors. <laughs> So this was that dress that I talked about in the Abercrombie haul that I really wanted to get. And I returned a lot of things and got this, which is like the peach dress. And then I was, it's a little chilly this morning, so I was wanting a jacket. So this is the chore jacket from Everlane. Like I said, I just cropped it. <laughs> but I actually really like the way it turns out. It doesn't look like I like mess it up. The fringe almost looks intentional. So I'm really happy about the way that turned out. So that's my little outfit of the day. And we just got something so exciting in the mail that um, honestly, Brooke is so excited about. So I figured we can open it together. Look who's here. The handsome husband, because tell them what you said about all the sponsors I've ever had. This is my favorite. <laughs> that's not exactly what you said. You're like, this is the only one I'm really excited about. Yeah. It's okay, they, the other ones won't see this video, but this is a butcher box. We have been getting butcher box for maybe like three or four months now. Yeah. About three or four months, and they are the best. They have the most high quality meat. They are sponsoring today's vlog, which Brooke is very excited about. He picked out the meat in this box, so we're gonna show you what we got, but guess what, guess what, guess what? They have, um, they, they run specials pretty often, but the special that's going to be happening when this video goes live is crazy. I have it right here. So until May 31st, when you get a box, they have a barbecue bundle that comes in your box for free. So it has two New York strip steaks, six burgers, and five pounds of drumsticks for free. That's a lot. That's a lot of meat. Okay, I know you're eager. Show them what you picked out, and we can pick out our dinner for tonight. All good things. All good things. You got a lot of meat. Um, yeah, well, we got burger patties, the beef patties. Mm -hmm. um, I'm really excited to make burgers. We got two of those. So two of those. we have 12 beef patties. Can we get a grill? Yeah, we need a grill. Can we get a grill? Maybe this weekend. We already bought a car, so it's like, <laughs> what's what's another couple hundred bucks? Complete the entire whole Yeah, life. Yeah, let's just rip the bandage. I went with bacon because I like bacon and I wasn't expecting Butcher's Dark to have, to have bacon. You haven't tried their bacon yet, so I'm excited to see what you think. It looks I, good. It's like thick and I don't know. Looks really good. Can I say too, I feel like a lot of times chicken is dry and something about the chicken is so tender. I don't know what they do differently. I do know that their meat is all very high quality. The chicken is free range and organic, but it's like so tender. You got a lot of chicken. I got a lot of chicken. Mm -hmm. um, I got all drumsticks because chicken. I wanted to make like wings. Uh, even on a wing kick. I have, I'm always on a wing. Yeah. So I got a lot of that. Uh -huh. Literally two things of those. And then we got New York. No, oh, that's a the sirloin. The, uh... That's the strip line. Oh, these are strips, yeah. That might be dinner. These are the New York strips. Those look delicious. Delicious, two of them. We have a grilled pan, which is how we've been doing our steaks and they've been turning out really good. Yeah, it's not bad. These are the ribeyes. Which those look so those good. Those look very good. Yeah, look at that marbling. I think I'm most excited about the filet mignons. Ooh, we should do that tonight. Yeah, like obviously they're very small, but filet mignons are very small. Well, yeah, because they're like so flavorful. And but they look quality. really good. They have really good color to them. Yeah. A pork butt. A pork butt. I'm hoping <laughs> to put this in the crock pot and make like shredded pork out of it. The pork is raised crate free. So it's a free range A free piggies. range piggy. <laughs> That's good for them. Yeah. I love that for them. <laughs> Um, I'm looking forward to that though, because if you put it in the crock pot, it gets really tender, it gets right? Super tender, and you can, can like, just pull like it? pull it. We should make pulled pork sandwiches and get some gluten free buns. Not yeah. tonight. Not tonight. Um, but... Tonight, I figured we could all do a Whole Foods run and we could get sides to go with. Do you want to do which which one do you want to do? Probably do the filet mignon tonight. We could do the filet mignon. What yeah. do you want to sides? I don't know what people eat with filet mignon because people are fancier than me. And I... Yeah, I feel like some sort of like scalloped potato. <laughs> I don't want to do anything too difficult because the game's on at six. But we can go do a Whole Foods run together. Also, when you add this up, it comes to less than $6 a meal in terms of meat. We were buying meat at like Whole Foods and stuff like that. 
which for quality meat is so much more expensive to buy in store than to buy it in bulk this way. And this lasts us about a month. Mm -hmm. And then it's really nice because at the store, we basically only buy like produce and breakfast stuff. So our grocery bills have been so much less, <laughs> which has been so nice. And you don't really have to think about meal prep. It's kind of like, what meat do we still have in the fridge? Thanks for unboxing this with me. If y'all want to see Brooke in more future um, unboxings. <laughs> send us more meat. <laughs> send, send him meat and he'll unbox it. I'm gonna put this in the freezer and I have a meeting at two, but then we'll plan out dinner and I'll go get the sides and some flowers and some oat milk because we're out. <laughs> As I'm putting this meat away in the fridge to thaw for dinner tonight, I wanna say thank you again to ButcherBox for sponsoring this vlog. Brooke is secretly hoping we can do a long-term partnership with ButcherBox because that's his dream come true. And I will have my link down below. I highly recommend taking advantage of that sale that's going on right now because you get so much meat for free. I love them so much. What you all probably clicked on this vlog for, I figured I should explain the car <laughs> while I'm getting set up for my meeting here. But so yesterday, we made an appointment to go test drive a car because there's only a couple Mazda dealerships in the area and the one near us had basically the exact car I wanted with the exact finishes and even like the upgraded package and everything that I had been eyeing. And we'd been talking about getting a larger car because we both have small cars and now having a house, there's so many outdoor projects that we want to lug things to and we drive home to Texas every Christmas and so having more space would be really nice. So last week we finally paid our taxes and we always set aside more tax money than we need just to be safe because you'll never know. So at the end of the year it's almost kind of like fun to pay our taxes because we're like how much did we accidentally set aside too much? And this year we set aside way too much which was awesome. Our like extra tax money plus the trade in value of my car was basically a new car. We paid a little bit more than that, but it, it almost feels like a free car. So we were like, okay, let's just do it. We were there and we looked at used cars because I swore I would never buy a new car because they depreciate so fast. But all the used cars that we found had 20, 30, 40,000 miles on it and was actually not that much cheaper than the new one. So we were kind of weighing the pros and cons and we were like, I guess having a brand new car that we know has no issues is kind of worth the extra couple thousand dollars since it feels like a free car to us basically. So we went ahead and we did it. So I did not want to test drive the car um, until we bought it because I have a fear of driving other people's cars. So I will roll the footage of us test driving the car yesterday. So we are in the car. Brooke is test driving it because I'm too nervous to test drive it myself. But it has a really pretty screen. This is the exact same as my car. So roomy. It smells good too. <laughs> <laughs> That's always the best part of a new car is the smell. Vroom vroom. <laughs> oh, the heads up display is already on. Oh, it's on. Is it just really bright outside? Or can I not see it? You probably way? can't see it from your angle, but I can see the speed that I'm going right there. Oh, that's cool. It has like a display that projects on the windshield. I want to play around with the screen when we're parked to see what's different on it. I never use mine. Well, sometimes I put it on maps to see like what the upcoming streets are. And then this morning I had to go back because we wanted to like transfer money or pay with our card and they only accept checks. They let us put five grand down on a card and that's the maximum. So I had to go back this morning and find a checkbook, which I haven't used a checkbook in years. <laughs> and basically pay the rest. So I have footage going early this morning and driving the car for the very first time and kind of freaking out over it. So I'll play that now too. So this is actually my first time driving the car and I know it's crazy, I didn't test drive it, but I didn't want to test drive it until it was mine in case something happened. And I was like, I already know how Mazdas drive. I love my Mazda. So this is my first time driving it and oh my gosh, it feels so weird. It feels so real. Also, it connects to my phone. The GPS is on the screen which is so nice. It has Apple CarPlay, so I can see my music, my maps, everything without having to like get a magnet for my phone. So I'm so excited, I feel so weird. I don't know why this is like my favorite thing, but having those maps so accessible, and wait, I'm still figuring out how to use this, and my music, and all of my apps, I can even see my texts. How do I, there we go. Pandora, Google Maps, Zoom. <laughs> can I zoom from my car? <laughs> And then can you see in the windshield right there? Let me zoom in. That heads up display. Oh my gosh, it is so cool. It shows me my miles per hour. Oh man, I love it so much. 
I really love it so much. And there's a sport button. Don't exactly know what it does. I'll probably never use it, but Brooke was excited about that. So is my dad. And instead of a parking brake, like my last car had the big pull up one, it's a tiny little button now for like the emergency brake, which is crazy. Also, he got me set up on an app to where I can start my car, stop my car, lock, unlock my car, and turn on and off my hazards from an app from an app it feels like tesla stuff and it's just a mazda <laughs> isn't that cool but yeah yeah I, I can't believe we did that but like i say it really feels like an almost free car because i was fully prepared for all of that money to go to the government and i'm very pleased at past mikkel for overestimating taxes and setting that aside because it really feels like a little gift. So that's how that happened. And we got a pretty good trade-in deal for my um, last car, which was great. So what happened? And I love her. I love her so much. Later, we could take her on a spin to go to Whole Foods, but I'm gonna get a little bit of work done, so I will catch up with you guys later. I have exactly 40 minutes to my next meeting and we're out of oat milk. And so I was like, can we do a really quick coffee run? And we're gonna take this guy, mix, it's gonna be your first time in the new car. You wanna see it? We basically got it for you because you'll have so much more space. What do you think? What do you think? <laughs> you look cute. You look precious. Yeah, you wanna go? You wanna go? Oh. What do you think of the car? What do you think of the car? It smells like new car and you smell terrible. <laughs> and if you ruin the smell of new car, I will be so mad at you. Look at him, he's looking around like, what is happening? He's like, this is kind of not familiar. No, I'm <laughs> Said, Something's different, but I can't quite put my finger on it. <laughs> what do you think's different? Huh? <laughs> 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 Good boy. You want to get a, not in the new car, but I was going to say a puppuccino. Not in the new car. Not in the new car. Not in the new car. <laughs> mm -mm. We're like the parents now that get a new car and all of a sudden have a no eating in the car rule. Did your parents, did your mom do that growing up? No. No? That was like a rule for us. It's like the first six months of a new car. It was no eating. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. So for the new car, since there's actually space, I bought a um, mount and I'm kind of playing around with it. And I think I can like switch this around and... Well, I don't want to show you our house, but I can like move this around and show you different angles. I don't know though, because when it, it films upside down, so it can't really track my face. So it can't really like compensate exposure for it. I was influenced by Katherine Manning. She was talking about it on her Instagram stories and she was like, I've tried so many car mounts and this one's my favorite. I think I like it. It's just funny that it's upside down. I think I like it. Meetings are done for the day. Oh, this door just opened itself. Closing this because Brooke's listening to something. I want to do a Whole Foods run. I think we're gonna just do asparagus and like, are they called Hasselback potatoes? The potatoes that you like halfway slit. Do garlic Parmesan potatoes. So I'm gonna get sides for that. I'm gonna get some Oatly and then also look at my tulips. They died. So I wanna see, I don't know if Whole Foods has tulips, but some sort of replacement flower because I spend all day in this room and I love having flowers in here. So cute little whole food montage. Let's go. Hello, Ramona. I can't shake the simplest feeling beyond the ghost We stand on the opposite shore Hello, Ramona I reach through mysterious ceilings My only hope I look for the things I don't know Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know We're all in this, I stand alone Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know We finish right in time, Dodger game's about to start I have laundry going and I wanted to give a little taste test 
before I leave you for the night to watch the game. Beautiful. Oh, that's good. Brooke's making this face. <laughs> I cooked that perfect. I cooked that perfect. Mm! Good morning. It is Saturday. It's almost 11 and I kind of made the mistake of leaving a lot of work for today, which I'm normally pretty good about getting it all done throughout the week, but I have been up since about eight. So I just did about three hours of work, feeling a little bit more caught up. If you guys don't know, Brooke basically has full work days every single day that there is a game, which is almost every single day. And then the rare off days, usually falls on one of his podcast days because he does podcasts Monday, Thursday. So he basically never gets a day off. <laughs> Today's a very busy day for him in terms of work, but I'm like, it's Saturday. We have nothing really planned this weekend. Let's try to do something fun this morning. And so I found a coffee shop slash breakfast place that we have never been to in Altadena and it looks really cute and they have a gluten-free granola bowl. And so I'm gonna quickly just kind of not even get ready. I'm not gonna even wash my face. I'm just gonna basically put on clothes and we're gonna go check it out this morning before all of his meetings start for the day. And then later today, I think it's supposed to get sunny, so I might lay out TBD. <laughs> A quick little comfy outfit of the day. This is by far my favorite thing that I got from the Abercrombie haul, and it's just a sweatshirt, but it is so soft and comfy. I need to put my hair in a different... <laughs> This is how I woke up. And then of course my favorite Lululemon Align leggings. And then I got these new shoes and they're so comfortable. I actually told my dad to get these for my mom for Christmas this last year. They're all birds because I have always eyed them and I got a pair for myself. I will link all these things down below. But otherwise, I'm just gonna go like this. <laughs> also, apparently the gardener that planted our bougainvillea, he messaged me, half the bougainvillea are thriving and half of them I think died which is very disappointing. And I think that he might've known that he brought a few bad ones because he kind of messaged me right after he planted them, like, how are they doing? And he messaged me again and he was like, I really wanna come check on them and try to give them some food. And I was like, I'm glad you messaged me because half of them are doing really well, but half of them look really sad and I don't know what's happening. And he was like, okay, I'll come by on Saturday. So I don't know what time he's gonna be by, but hopefully not when we're gone. Okay, let's go get brunch or coffee and snacks, I don't know. But let's get out of the house for once today. So I decided that it would be a good idea to go lay out in the sun for a little bit, feel like it's summer, but the kids next door set up a blow up pool and they're like standing on top of it looking into our yard and I'm like, do I wanna be in a bathing suit laying while these kids are like staring at me? I don't know. I might try to find a space with sun and privacy, but I started reading this book. I got it off Amazon. It's The Unexpected Joy of the Ordinary. I'm only this far in but so far it has called me out so hard about always wanting more and never being content. Um, highly recommend it so far. It really deep dives into the psychology of our brains, but there are a lot of curse words, so that's your fair warning. Thanks, bud. He wants to go get me sunscreen from his trunk. Thank Copper you. Copper tone 50. Copper tone 50. Sick. And a package. Oh, I got another package I need to open soon. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to try this. I saw this on Danny Austin's stories and then I saw them everywhere. And all it is, it's the Sol de Janeiro hair, but bum bum cream is like apparently what they're known for. It's just the lotion. So I'm like, what is the hype? I am excited to see what the hype is about. Maybe I should save this for my most sponsored video, but it's not really sponsored. It's just kind of hyped. Oh, wow. Oh, it does smell really good. It's just a lotion. It's like kind of whipped. Ooh. I mean, I think it has probably a lot of fragrance. Guava extract. It smells really good. I mean, I see why people love it. Okay, well, that was a fun, spontaneous meal time. I'm gonna go try to find a spot to lay out in the sun, maybe. Nothing feels better than a full shower after laying out in the sun, like exfoliate, shave, hair mask, everything. I did the um, Drunk Elephant scalp scrub, and then I tried that hair mask that we just got in the mail, and I love it. It smells so good. I need to brush and dry my hair. But I really cannot wait to open this any longer because I got a big girl item in the mail. I'm so excited about this. I have never had like a real 
quality blender before. We love to go get acai bowls out, which are so expensive. <laughs> so I was like, I want one of those really quality Vitamixes to where we can make our own thick smoothie bowls at home. And Vitamix is having a sale right now where their blenders are $100 off and free shipping if you spend more than $100. <gasps> And I got a rose gold blender. I actually got this because I was able to become an affiliate. So I'll affiliate link this down below, which is like possibly the coolest affiliate program I'm on. This is the A3500 Ascent Series Blender. Touch interface, five program settings, programmable timer, variable speed control, and pulse. And it specifically says you can make like smoothie bowl and ice cream type stuff in here. Not every blender can do that. <laughs> so, and wait till you see how pretty it is. Oh my goodness look at how pretty this is it has like a touch screen basically display and here's the blender top and you know it's equipped for smoothie bowls when it has this because as the smoothie's going or the the acai bowl you help it around like this just like a professional acai bowl spot now i can make this y'all want to make some next week's vlog i'm so excited about this i'm definitely gonna go find a spot for it to leave it out on our counter all the time because look at that like gold beautiful color very exciting meal time Whew. i am going to edit this whole vlog before the game starts that's my goal for today because tomorrow I'm filming a video. I'm basically getting ahead because my sister's coming in town and I'm very excited about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here, but I love y'all so much. Thank you for coming along on a fun car buying adventure <laughs> and a restful weekend with me. Thank you again to ButcherBox for sponsoring this video. Don't forget, I will have my link linked down below. Definitely check out that sale. It is so incredibly amazing before it ends and see how you like it. I need to actually thaw some meat for dinner tonight. I'm glad I just reminded myself of that. I love y'all with my whole heart. I hope you have the best rest of your day and I will see you in a video very soon. Bye. So give me a sign. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more. Talking to you. Here we go again. Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me. Where do we go from here? I wanna go all in.